We've got a few funky notions to go through. What happened was I was putting away the stuff from uh, Facebook on Tuesday back on the, our Clover rack and I thought, oh right, I was supposed to demo this and, and this. So I went back to the Clover rack, hence the title of today's uh, session, Walking Through Clover, and found just some really interesting tools that maybe you've seen, you didn't know how to use them. Maybe you look at them, you go, huh, what would I do with that? but I'm gonna show you how much fun they can be. And in case you were wondering about our fabric, this is a new fabric line for us. I'll step out of the way. You can maybe see it on your screen a little better. We have a panel, we have coordinates like this. It's called Harlequin Poppies and uh, it's just gorgeous. It's so rich and deeply colored. Even a small amount of it would, would go a long way. So, Without further ado, let's have a fun with some of our notions. Where will I start? Um, I know, I'm gonna start. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have ever considered these little guys. There's one missing out of the set, but we're out of stock on that one. These are the Hera markers by Clover, uh, the point turner, the Hera marker slim or tiny, and the little finger presser. And they're just a little ultimate gadget for making pressed lines in your fabric. I happen to have this one at home, use that all the time. So the idea is, if you want to make a temporary line on your fabric, let's say you have to sew half square triangles. And we know we're supposed to draw a line on there, but you don't have your pencil handy or you don't really want to mark on the fabric. You can take this guy, you can take the small Hera marker, or you can take, there's a larger version of this. Um, it's just called a Hera marker, full scale. And it's got a sharper edge like that. You can actually run that across your fabric and it leaves a slightly creased line on your fabric very temporary for you to follow. You can use the point on this, and I'm working on a pressing pad here. If you need to just kind of trace a little line. You probably know I do uh, the quilting here, the long arm quilting. So sometimes you just want a little mark to follow, but you don't want to actually mark on your fabric. So. That would be a great one because it has that sharp point. You can also use it for turning things. Your turner will also draw a line on your fabric with that end. But you can use this end for getting into the corners when you turn something. You want to tuck those corners out nicely. Or let's say you're making something rounded. You can use this edge to actually press that seam out nicely from the inside. So a couple of really handy tools. And then this one, it's got a flat edge and it's great if you are doing seams. You've got your fabric sewn together, you want to press your seam either to one side or I like to press mine open. We'll make a pretend seam here. So you can just take this instead of your fingernail and run it like that and you can see you get a pretty sharp crease with this guy. So run that down like that and you've got a good crease on your fabric. So Clover must have thought that we liked to fold fabric because they have a lot of tools that will crease or fold your fabric. Here's another one got a little rolly ball on it and it again is for pressing your seams. You've got your seam. Maybe you don't want to pull like I did on that one because you're working on the bias. You're working on the bias. You don't necessarily want to do this because you're going to stretch your fabric. So you can take the seam roller and just press like that. Oh, look how slick that is. 
look how look at the, the type of crease i hope hopefully yeah that's coming out on the camera pretty well so yeah i have one of these uh seam rollers at home and it's great it makes a very nice crease on your fabric so right there four or five with the missing ones different ways of marking your fabric without marking your fabric i thought those were just so amazing so we talked on tuesday about needles and pins and we didn't have any of these um in at the time but i did manage to find one this is the desk needle threader by clover it is the amazing amazing way to thread your needles uh let's see if i can pop it out here so pop it out i can look at that set that there the principle is you have a needle slot right there and you drop your needle down into that hole eye down you put your thread through this little groove right here and you press the lever and carefully lift your needle out and it will be threaded and i have used my gadget like this on everything from uh tiny tiny quilting needles to larger uh, embroidery needles it's one of the best tools there are if you have difficulty threading needles so i'm glad i found this thing that i can show everybody because it is definitely well worth price on that pop back in there you it's like a road map you know you never get it back the way it came out so so those that's the first little batch but when we start talking about needles and thread talking about needles and thread sometimes we want to cut our thread we don't we don't want the snips lying around maybe the grandkids are over or something have you ever tried one of these guys won't take this one out of the package because i have one like that that's a thread cutter and each of the little notches around the edge here has a little bit of a blade in it so if you want to cut your thread well, we got some thread we got some thread here all you do is pop it through that slot and you're done especially nice if you're traveling you don't want those scissors dropping on the floor of the car or rolling under the seat in the camper you can put this on a, a pendant make a pendant out of it i have mine on an elastic so it's handy i can reach it grab it like that it's safe but if you're maybe you're doing your stitching as you draw well not as you drive as somebody drives your vehicle um it's a great little gadget to keep handy wear it use it it's it's a beautiful little thing clover cutter they come in a couple of different sizes i think this is the uh the most optimum size i think there's a smaller one that's available as well so i really love that guy and the thing that leah was alluding to that we only have one of and i pulled it in here because it kind of matches this and i'm thinking it's just beautiful beautiful little gadget to have in your sewing room and at first glance you think boy that's a really big thimble but it's not it's a pencil sharpener pencil sharpener for all your lovely marking pencils and it's going to sit nicely it's actually got it's metal it's got some weight to it so one more thing and this is fairly new i saw a video on this and i thought you know we should demo this because i was actually looking for something like this a little while ago this is called a stitch dome hold the package up hold it up like this this little guy you can see it's not very deep okay comes with this rubbery little elastic -y thing on it and the idea behind this is sometimes if you do a lot of handwork or you like to embroider or the video i watched was on putting patches on blue jeans sometimes you want to do your stitching in uh, an awkward place you can't get that piece of fabric in an embroidery hoop or you want to work on a pocket on a, a shirt and you 
how are you going to get that in a hoop? You can't go all the way through. So this little guy is going to, this little guy, you're just going to put it inside the pocket. We'll pretend this is a pocket like this. Tuck that fabric under a bit. Take this little elasticy thing and it fits right around the edge. It can be a little bit tricky to get it on, but pull back. Come on, you slippery thing. There we go. Pull it around this way. See, this is what doing things live is all about. You get to see people fumble with things that, oh, I saw that, I got to give it a try. And tuck the rest of our fabric in. There we go. So that rubber ring holds quite firmly around there. It would hold a heavier piece of fabric as well. There we go. Smooth out any wrinkles like this. So now you've got that stitch dome inside your pocket or your the leg of your jeans. We could go back to like the 80s, embroidering on our jeans. And now you are able to do your stitching quite easily. And you're not gonna stick your fingers the needle just goes in and kind of bounces off. I'm not making a very pretty design here, but it's easy to hang on to and it's great for working in those small, awkward places if you like to do a little stitching or mending. So I just might have to get me one of these because it, you can see how easily that works. So I'm glad we got those guys in. I had seen that video. Uh, the, the video's great. It actually has, has this inside a pair of blue jeans and we're, that are being patched and mended and turned into stylish, wonderful things. So, wonderful things from Clover. There's lots more good stuff on the rack that I didn't bother bringing out this time. Maybe we'll touch on them again down the road. But it's always nice when you find these little notions that are going to make your life easier, simpler, and you didn't know you needed it until you see it demonstrated. That's what we got for you today, folks. Take care, everybody. Stay calm, stay kind, stay safe. Enjoy the beautiful weather wherever you are. Hopefully it will be a little bit cooler over the weekend because, I don't know, 32 is just a bit hot for me. So thanks for joining us. 